Let me ask you a presidential question about Merrick Garland put forward by the president for the Supreme Court. This could be a decision you have to handle. What's your sense, of, what's your feeling about the way that your Republican colleagues have responded to that nomination from the president? Well, look, I never thought the president should send it because I knew nothing was going to happen. I mean, frankly, they probably ought to all sit down and meet with the guy. And my feeling is at the end of the day, whoever gets elected president should be in a position to be able to pick, you know, who they want. And the, and, and the American people will decide by either voting for a Republican or Democrat what the makeup of the court is. I, I just think that's a, a process that can unite us rather than a process that right now continues to divide us. As someone who's talked about unity, would you, uh, would you take a look at Mr. Garland and when you, uh, if you were elected president? Well, you know, he received, uh, you know, overwhelming support, I think even from Senator Hatch. So of course we'd think about it. The way we do it, John, is we look at a person's record. I want a conservative who's not gonna make the law, but who will interpret the law, and somebody of high standing. I don't care about their peccadillos, you know, 30 years ago. Uh, but yeah, we have a process. I've appointed over 100 judges in Ohio, including a woman that fortunately I was able to point to the Ohio Supreme Court, and we've had good success okay. with, our, with our selections.